Schools everywhere across Northeast Ohio on high alert. Some forced to close after threats on social media. Thanks for joining us. I'm Nicole Versansky. And I'm Brian Duffy. One district saying just point blank, they will not tolerate it. First at four, Brittany, we are breaking down what the threat was, how police say they were able to find this particular student who made it. Nicole and Brian Lorraine High School and the administrative building forced to close today. These signs posted at every single entrance after a threat was found on social media. Lorraine police say that threat. It was posted by a middle school student who posted about shooting up a school. But it terrified a lot of people. Superintendent Jeff Graham says on Tuesday morning, the FBI and Lorraine police found a threat on social media. They say the threat was posted by a student from Lorraine, forcing both the high school and administrative buildings to close. Well, there's a ripple effect that's kind of gone through our district, especially when all these situations happen far too often. According to Lorraine police, the post was made on Snapchat and referenced shooting up a school. These threats are taken very seriously. Uh, I think in this day and age, we have to. After tracing the IP address of this post, Police found that it was made by a 12-year-old girl who attends General Johnny Wilson Middle School. A suspect claimed that it was just a joke uh, and that there was no actual threat that was being planned or, or no actual actions that were intended to be carried out. We had staff that were in incredibly stressed out, neighbors of, of our schools, uh, obviously parents, students. So there's a ripple effect that goes through um, even when you're just looking into something like this. The school district and police taking this and every threat seriously. The 12 year old student was issued a summons to appear before the juvenile court on a charge of inducing panic. There are different consequences when coming from the courts and whether that can be that can range anywhere from services, uh, you know, perhaps counseling to actual, you know, punitive sanctions such as, you know, time in the DH. When there are threats like this that are made, we have policies and procedures that we follow. That student will get their due process. We'll learn a little bit more about what the intent was, what was really happening, and then make a decision based on that. And Superintendent Graham says the decision to close was out of an abundance of caution. However, sports and extracurricular activities, they all continued as normal. But coming up at 6, hear why the administration decided not to close other schools in the district for the day. Live in Lorraine, Brittany Weir, 19 News.